Peace and grace, peace and grace, man. All praise to Heavenly Father, Abinawi, Abashim, Mashak, Oshai. Much love to all the beloveds, man. In the name of the Father, the beloved Son, and the glorious Holy Spirit, man. Peace and blessings, man. So, uh, I want to say all praise to Yah, Abashim, Oshai, Abashim, Kakadash, and, uh, much love to all the beloveds. It's like it. Much love to all the beloved baptized in the new covenant for remission of sins, man. Y'all gotta forgive me, man. I'm a, I'm tired of shit, boy. Loved one only had two hours of sleep. So I'm like way bugged out right now. But, uh... <laughs> man, this is a... Video going into pork... Raymond noodles, man. Which I was at the, uh... Liquor store like last week or something, which is, a, it's like a liquor store slash regular store. So I went to the store or whatever, and uh, I seen they had pork flavored ramen noodles, man. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's, it's madness, man. This place just, is total Gentile out, man. You know what I'm saying? Eating, got, eating pigs, man. It's going off. Right? Which I know a lot of people probably say don't even eat no damn noodles. Right? They say the noodles is uh, all... I heard some stuff about them. But uh, the point is, man, they have pork flavor noodles, man. And the most high say that uh, we shouldn't be dealing with that, that pork, man. So let me get a piece of... This Deuteronomy 14 and 3. Thou shalt not eat any abominable thing, man. I'm gonna get this word abominable real quick. Get this word abominable. See what it's talking about. <sighs> see what it's talking about. Abominable. Right. Strong. Strong's H, 8441, to Eva, to Eva. Right, which means a disgusting thing, man. We're not supposed to eat disgusting things, man, like eating a damn pig, man. A pig is considered a disgusting thing, man. When you call a cop a pig, that's not a good thing, right? When the Messiah said, uh, cast not your pearls before a swine, swine it wasn't used for positivity. The demons were cast in the swine. And the pigs, man, they uh they just nasty as hell, man. It says a disgusting thing, abomination, abominable food, and ritual sense of unclean food, idols. Right, it said mixed marriages ethical sense of wickedness, etc. Right, so this is dealing with what? Something disgusting. Which, what's, what's disgusting? Eating the things that most high told us we're not supposed to eat. Right? Like, like pigs. I'm going to jump down to verse 7. Nevertheless, these shall ye not eat of them that chew the cud. Right, but this is the law. Which I'm not teaching that uh that you you're justified in the, uh in your own righteousness, but you're justified in, in the righteousness of God, which is come from God. Righteousness without the law is manifest, right? But that don't mean to sin willfully, right? The Lord can show grace and mercy, but you also don't want to willfully go off. Scripture says, if you willfully go off, there remain no more sacrifice for sin. Man. So you can, uh, you can, you can fuck the new covenant up basically if you're, uh, purposely going off, right? Like people that sell, sell out, dude. When people sell out, they purposely go off, they purposely cause confusion. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's willful sin. Right? There's a difference between sin and ignorance and, and, and purposely doing it. 
right? That's why the scripture says sin willfully. Deuteronomy 14 and 7. Nevertheless, these shall ye not eat of them that chew the cud, or of them that divide the cloven hoof, as the camel. And the, right, would you eat a goddamn camel? And the hare, which I believe is a rabbit, a coney. For they chew the cud, but divide not the hoof. Right, a lot of these animals don't be breaking down their food, man. They just divide, they just swallow it, man. Therefore, they are unclean unto you. And the swine, the what? And the swine, because it divided the hoof, yet cheweth not the cud. It is unclean unto you, man. This is this is God's words. You should not eat of their flesh nor touch their dead carcass, man. That's that's the word of the Lord, right? Verse one: You are the children of the Lord, your God. See that we're the children of who? The Lord our God, man. Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. We're the seed of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, the children of the Lord our God. Right? So this applies to the Israelites, man. Right? Because we're the seed, right? The beloved in the new covenant, they're the children of Yahweh Shai. Right? We're we're Yahweh Shai's offspring, man. We have uh I want to get it in Isaiah. Right, he shall see his seed, man. Right, his children. Which what? My shot got was shot is our creator. It's a lot good. That's a good verse, but that's not the verse I'm looking for. Go to Isaiah 53. I gotta hurry up. I'm tweaking. Isaiah 53 and uh, 10. Yet it please it please it please the Lord to bruise him. Right? To bruise who? Yahweh was shot. He had put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, you know how my shot was shot. That out, his soul is already an offering for sin. You got Jake's talking about his soul is an offering for sin. We're not in the new covenant. But Isaiah was going off. Basically, they basically saying Isaiah was goddamn lying, man. He shall see his seed, right? He shall prolong his days. The pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. So, we're the children of Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Shah told us not to eat the swine, man. Shalom. Leave that, leave that, leave them damn pork noodles alone, man. Uh.